to another Among Us a mod menu video guys and this menu dude it's, it's just like bro like this is just insane bro so if you guys are new man make sure to subscribe and leave a like bro but with that being said man look at this bro this is just insane look at all the mods we have here bro uh, but yeah man let's get right into how to get this mod menu bro but if you have guys who have not already make sure to leave a like and subscribe bro It'd be really 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 much appreciated and with that being said guys let's get right into this peace out Okay guys, so I know I would normally link, link Mediafire in my description for this mod menu, but I'm going to be respectful to Rev because he doesn't want anyone to like send direct links, you know. Um, honestly man, this guy has worked really, really hard on this menu guys and he deserves like, like at least 30 seconds of your time to go through it all. Um, so basically guys, click the link down below, you'll be brought to PolarMods.com, Among This mod menu guys. And also, this is the newest version, so it's 11.4 11 guys, and it's just really, really cool. So as you guys can see, look at all the freaking features man, that is just just insanity bro so what you want to do is pretty much just make sure you have an account as you guys can see pelican mafia you just create yourself an account and what you want to do from here you just want to scroll down and you see, once you have an account you should see the like button if you guys do not see the like button it's because you did not create an account yet you need to create an account and then you will see this like button right here and once you click that like button guys you want to scroll up and you'll see the uh, enjoy button you'll see you'll see enjoy when you delete genie you go through the take me also guys it's not like tia's menu so you don't have to have a key or nothing like that as long as you go through the first steps you have forever you have the apk and you're good to go um so yeah first of all you want to go ahead guys and subscribe so we're gonna go to youtube and you basically guys just have to subscribe i'm already subscribed to RevMods. you have to just like one of his videos so just go to youtube and pretty much there you see as you guys can see you can just like his video um, and then click unlock so basically once after you get to this step you want to scroll down and click get link this is going to bring you to link for ties and then from here you want to scroll down until you see uh, view interesting articles like free access right here and then once you click free access it should load up in just a second and as you guys can see boom you're in the among us mod menu and if it does tell you to view interesting articles just click it and then click the x and then wait 11 seconds and then click the x again and then you should be brought to mega but if you don't have to do that then good for you so yeah so this is basically the actual like, direct link to it but i'm not going to share this link um but with that being said guys let's get right into this video uh pretty much of the review of the menu bro i've been really really waiting for rev to make a mod menu dude it's been forever the man finally came in clutch bro and here we are man so shout out to big shout out to rev man i'm actually gonna leave a link in the description to go check out his channel and with that being said let's get right into this video peace out Okay guys, so pretty much heading right into the Among Us menu. Also, once you open the game up, it's going to ask you to appear on top. Just go ahead guys and accept that. And pretty much guys, here we go. So, basically as you guys can see at the top left corner, we are on using version 2020.11.4, which is the newest version for Among Us. So this is just insanity, bro, that we're even able to get these kind of menus, dude, for the newest version. Just honestly insane. And we have a quite a bit of stuff to go over in this video. So first, let's go online, and we already have Pelican Boy added, guys. And if we go into public match, let's start up with something that has like 1 out of 8 or something like that. Okay, so this is our game right here, as you guys can see. What is up, Klee? Um, yeah, so basically you can increase our player speed to say if I want max We're gonna be flying all over the place man. Just honestly insane So let's turn that back down to like a two I think that's pretty that's pretty, I would say two is probably pretty neutral for that and then you also have the ghost player speed So we're gonna max that with our player speed and you also have the player color So basically um, this doesn't change instantly you will have to restart the game and it will um, have your color differently But yeah guys or the, or I think I think once the game starts your color changes I'm pretty sure that's how that works um, and then we also have the no leave cooldown. So basically meaning when you do not have to wait for like a cooldown to leave, you can just leave instantly as long as you want. You also can unlock all pets, all hats, all skins. So basically meaning that if I come to this device over here, I have every single hat in the game, every single skin for the newest version as well. So don't forget that, don't forget that guys, you also have the newest version for everything. And it's just really, really pretty cool, man. So you can use whatever you want, bro. Anything you want. And yeah, man, so there we go. So from there we have the light increase. So basically what this is gonna do is once you're kind of in the game, it's going. You know how you have like a little circle of light around you. It's gonna be increased to like maximum. So the whole entire map will be lit up. You'll be able to see everything in the game. And then we also see the increase report distance. So basically meaning that you know once someone kills somebody, I'm gonna instantly be able to report that person across the map, no problem at all. And um, let's find a better game because we need to find someone that actually has like a full lobby because um, these games are filling up very, very quickly. So let's go into one of these 
And uh, yeah, man, so let's just try, let's just try one of these. That's insane how fast these, these lobbies fill up, bro. Like, look at this. None of the lobbies will let me play because how full they're getting. Um, so yeah, so let's try this one right here. Um, hopefully we can get to a game. I'm not sure why so many of them are full. Uh, we should get some people in there in no time though. Um, but yeah, let's check out some more mods out. We also have the out of map after first vote. So I'm not going to enable that right now, but basically what's going to happen is once the first vote is counted, your character will teleport outside the map, meaning that you will be able to roam around anywhere you want to not a problem at all and it would just be super super cool so yeah man we're gonna start the game up which is great and then we also have the no door sabotage cooldown so it basically means um that once the door is closed you can you basically you can sabotage all doors also we are imposter bro so that's awesome bro we are imposter that's very very lucky um so let's just go ahead and go down here um, I also heard there's a god mode, so fake god mode. I think what fake god mode means, like, basically, if, like, someone tries to kill you, it's gonna show they killed you, but at the same time, you don't die. So, they think, like, you're dead. Like, you really are dead, but, like, they, don't, they don't know that, though. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, um, the out of map. So, yeah, basically, if I enable this, I'm actually gonna try this out. So, um, basically, they're saying it's white. I'm not sure how they have sus on white. Um, and I'm gonna say how, question mark, and we're just gonna send that over there. And then basically from there we also have the no kill cooldown so it basically means um you can just spam you can just spam whatever you want like you can just spam kills however many times you want i'm just going to skip the vote because we really don't know who is imposter um and then basically uh we also have the illegal name i'm not going to enable that because i don't know what i'm not sure what illegal means like i guess i'll just enable it whatever let's just do it um but yeah so basically you have the enable you basically have a legal name i'm pretty sure like you have a name that you're not supposed to have like like illegal characters i'm pretty sure you can like put in whatever name you want without it like taking it away um so basically let's just uh see what else we have here so we also have the no emergency cooldowns so basically basically meaning you can just call unlimited emergencies like you have look, look, watch this guys i could literally call an emergency as soon as this is available like look at this so as soon as i click on it i should be able to call an emergency meeting as you guys can see um, but yeah, so with that being said, we also have the unlimited emergency meeting. So yeah, of course, meaning that you don't have a cooldown and you also have unlimited amounts of them. And dude, this guy is so annoying. I'm just going to like kick this guy out, dude. I'm going to say, bro, you're being annoying. Um, I'm going to vote, vote you out. And because this guy is just being a little bit annoying, so I'm just gonna vote him out because that's just annoying as everything, dude. And I don't know how that guy knows it's me, but I mean, I'm literally just like doing my own thing. Um, so I'm just gonna vote him out. They're probably gonna vote me out because I don't know how they know I'm imposter. Probably, probably, probably have mods. I won't be surprised. Um, but basically, from there, we also have the uh, no door sabotage. Yeah, we haven't turned that on yet. So basically, you can do it as many times as you want. And we also have the no ads. So a lot of people on mobile have problems with ads and stuff like that. Um, basically meaning like you'll be playing a game and then after the game's over, it'll like force you to watch an ad. So therefore you can just, you can instantly not have any ads at all the entire time you play. And then after that, we also have the make everyone green. So this is a visual mod. So not everyone will see themselves as green. I'm just gonna leave this game. This is a very weird game. I don't know why everyone's acting so weird. Um, let's just find some more games. Let's just join this one right here. Um, let's try this one right here. Um, but yeah, so as you guys can see, everyone is a question mark. No one knows who who, who is. Um, no one knows who anyone is. And basically from that, we also have move during tasks. So basically meaning that once a task is called, you can move around as many times as you want. So basically say that like people are typing and everything. You can just move your character around. And if you're, if you're the imposter, you can literally kill everyone in one second especially if you have the no kill cooldown um but yeah i know i'm like talking a lot fast dude like i'm trying to get i'm trying to like go over all these mods because like a lot of people are you know modding and stuff like that so you know basically i would be careful as well because some people can be modding on the 11.4 um so i definitely would be very very cautious of that and if you see anyone modding i would recommend just leaving because it would make the experience a lot more fun if everyone doesn't know what's going on but yeah so then we also have the move during task meeting so yeah where we go and then okay our game crashed not too sure why our game crashed um certain mods might might like overload the game i think we might have had like too many mods on um but yeah with that being said where were we at we were at so we were at like a menu yeah yeah that's right we were at the uh move during task meeting slash menus and we also had the chat always visible so what this is gonna do is once we head into a game hopefully we can get to a game pretty soon 
uh, without barely anyone in it. These games just fill up so, so fast. It's kind of insane. Um, so we're going to join this one. That's full. Uh, we're going to join Sup. That's full. I don't know how these games are so full, honestly. That's just insane. Like, look how full these games get. It's honestly crazy. Um, wow. That, all right, we're just going to create a game. Like, that's just insane how fast these games get full, filled up. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Let's get right into this. We're going to put that on public so other people can join up. And from here, we're going to check out the closed doors. So, basically, what you can do is... You can, you can close all the doors, you can close a certain type of door. So basically say that I close all doors at the start of the game, everyone's gonna be stuck in cafeteria. It'll just be super, super funny because honestly, dude, imagine like everyone's just stuck in the cafeteria, that would just be honestly insane. And then we also have the repair system so you can repair everything you want. Whatever, we can basically, you can basically repair certain things that you wanna use. And then we also see sabotage system so you can sabotage everything or just the lights. And then we also have the no clip mod. So, this is basically no clip guys you just walk outside the map whenever you want if we turn up our player speed to like i don't know like a four look at us guys look look how fast we're just running outside the map bro and the newest version of among us honestly it's just just honestly crazy so basically from there we also have the what other mods do we have we also have the um username character bypass so you can change whatever you want i, I like how i can just sabotage the lights as soon as the game starts before the game even starts um, and then we also have the light everywhere. So basically turn it on game and then start meeting is called. So basically this is also going to increase your light even when the meeting is called. And then from there we also have the always imposter. So if you turn this on in your host, uh, that crash force for some reason. Again guys, try not to overload your, your game with too many mods because it can be a bit overwhelming I think for your phone. So definitely I recommend just using always imposter as once. And then also, I think you have to be host as always imposter as well because I don't think if you're host, I don't think it works like that. So if we go to online and we go to create game and then we go to, there we go, and we click confirm. We're gonna go and put it on public. Um, I don't know why our game crashes so much with uh, always imposter. Rev, if you're watching this, try and probably look into that. I'm not sure why it's crashing so much, uh, but we're not gonna turn that on for now. Um, usually it will always work, but uh, for now, today, it's not wanting to work, but also we have the complete all tasks. So basically what this will do is, if you turn that mod on and you're just starting the game off as the crewmates, you can literally turn on, you can literally turn on the complete all task and be done instantly. Like everything will be done and you instantly win the game. Um, and then we also have the voting never ends. So you can basically troll people and pretty much just make it to where every time the game starts, right? Like every time the game starts and you call a meeting, it never even ends. Like everyone will just be sitting there forever and be like, it'll be really, really awkward. People are gonna be like wondering like, um, when is this gonna end? And then we also have the imposter count. So you could actually increase the imposters to 10 imposters, dude. I don't know how this was gonna happen, but if we can get some people in here, once I put this in public, I need to see if this works, bro. I need to actually see if this works. Cause if we can have 10 imposters, dude, imagine how chaotic that would be. Um, also, Rev, it would be really, really cool if you could make it to where, like, you can have a certain amount of players, like, you can increase the amount of players in the game. Um, I definitely recommend trying that out. I think that'd be really, really cool. And then we also have the no clip. Also, you have to turn that no clip on. No, everyone likes no clip. Um, so let's turn that on, guys. And then we have the player two out of three imposter. So I'm not sure what that does, to be honest with you. Um, I still haven't figured that out. Um, I know Rev's told me before, but I just can't remember. Um, and then we also have the voting never ends, and then we also have end vote. So you basically can end the vote for however many votes you want. End game, screen might go back black. So you can basically just end the game whenever you want. And then we also have the random hat changer. So this will literally uh, do that. It'll say you got banned for hacking, but I don't think it'll actually ban you because as you guys can see, I'll probably just head right into a game, as you can see. Um, so I'm not sure what happened. I mean, let's try going to, into one. I think he also has a, um, what's it called? I think if you turn the uh, I think if you turn the hat changer and all that on, it'll like detect your hacking or whatever. So I recommend just trying not to do that, guys, and just heading into a game normally. Um, because I think if you turn that on, it will kind of like kind of like alarm the system that you're hacking. So I don't really recommend using that. And you also have the teleport the location teleporter. So as you guys can see, it's not really that kind of just like sets off the. Uh, the hacking thing as you guys can see so basically just I wouldn't really recommend using that right now and plus it's in beta so I do recommend giving him some time to kind of fix that up a bit um, so yeah then we also have the vote player so basically what this will do is you can blow you can pretty much vote however many players you want you can vote yourself you can vote player one two three all the way up to ten and that is pretty much it man for this menu full review of the entire menu itself 
just a really great menu in general guys and if you want this menu guys make sure to go to polarmods.com and check it out and if you guys do send direct links and comments i'm not going to delete them i mean like if, if you want to do that you can do it i mean i don't really care but with that being said guys thank you all so so much for watching today's video and if you guys did did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe i know there was a lot of buggy options but he did say that he's gonna up he's gonna up he's pretty much gonna like update it a lot and make sure that's like fixed and fix all the bugs that we experienced in today's video but thanks again to rev for making this honestly just a great menu lots of options lots of customizations and if you guys want to see a roblox menu or another subway servers menu i know tia is making another subway servers menu uh let me know in the comments down below but if you guys have made it this far comment the number 10 and i will definitely uh shout you out next video um, but yeah, man, thank you all so, so much for, you know, being here and just supporting the channel. We're almost at 24,000 subscribers. And uh, with that being said, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video of Among Us. See you guys. Peace out.